Hi everyone, it's Julia here. Today I would like to show you another fall slash autumn makeup look in this video and uh, how to use unusual colors and how to match those colors by uh, using complementary colors together. And this is also a product review of uh, new collections from Giorgio Armani. I've purchased the Iquatro uh, Ice to Kill Intense, no, Ice to Kill Stella and the Rouge de Armani uh, Matte Lipstick. Yeah, so let's begin. The main color of the eyeshadow I chose um, is green, as you can see. I know green is very unusual color to put on your eyes. Um, not many people are very confident about using green on your face and not many people would deliberately buy um, eyeshadow palettes that contains green inside but this is who I am. I love using different colors uh, for my eye makeup. Every single day I use different colors and combinations and I love experimenting with colors all the time. Of course I chose these colors because um, they're part of my own personal colors, uh, which suits my skin tone, hair color, eye color, um, you know, everything. So it'll help my uh, complexion look more brighter, uh, less tired, look healthy, lively, young, you know, all that. If you still have no idea what I'm talking about, um, please go and watch my uh, previous videos on color theory. Uh, I will link them down below. So, as I mentioned in my previous video, I'm a dark autumn. It means that the colors that are dark, warm, and muted are my colors. They're the characteristics of my uh, color palette. A lot of the times people ask me, um, how can you suit all the colors in the world, uh, including greens, blues, purples, you know, all those unusual colors, is because I know exactly which uh, kind of which kind of green, which kind of blue, which kind of purple uh, suits my skin tone. As you can see, it's a, a combination of um, khaki green and uh, really lovely browns. All four colors are not uh, matte shades. This color here, it still has a slight sheen. It's more like a satin finish. I feel like uh, this dark brown here, it has even more sheen compared to the uh, brown next to it. And the bottom two colors have um, lots of shimmers and uh, micro glitters. They really feel like butter. It's so smooth. There are no fallouts whatsoever. And this one here uh, is called Ice to Kill Stella. And um, this is a cream to powder type kind of shadow. Um, it feels really creamy at first when you touch it, but it turns into a powder form after like few seconds. The texture itself is very interesting. I've never come across uh, this kind of texture before. Can you see it? Can you see that it's bouncy as I push in? No matter how hard you push in, it bounces back up like the uh, memory foam pillow. It's such an interesting um, texture. I mean, I love the feel of it. I feel like, you know, I can touch this all day. This is Armani's first traditional looking uh, lipstick in a matte finish. Uh, they do have two types of matte uh, lipsticks, but liquid lipsticks, which is Lip Maestro and Lip Magnet. Someone like me who has uh, super dry lips, Lip Magnet is actually quite dry. It makes my lips dry so much. Lip Maestro, it's all right, depends on the um, my lip condition of the day. It really depends on um, whether I have moisturized my lips uh, enough before I put the lipstick on. When Armani was so famous for its lip maestro and lip magnets, I personally did not wear 
uh, so much of those. I prefer the Rouge Diamani, the very classic looking uh, lipstick, which uh, gives you satin finish. Out of all the lipstick ranges, for me, it was the most comfortable on my lips. I tried this one at the brand training, um, as you saw on my uh, previous video, but it was a lap sample, so uh, it wasn't in a case like this. It was um, put into a plastic container, which our uh, trainer uh, brought over. That day when I tried, it felt very dry somehow, so I felt that I wouldn't like it um, as much. But now that we have this one uh, at counter, I've tried it and I love it so much. This is like the first matte lipstick I love so much. I can wear it the whole day. It doesn't make my uh, lips dry or um, you know become flaky or get into my fine lines or anything like that. This is amazing. Seriously, look how sexy the packaging is. It still has the same design but the outside here is completely matte and the bottom is black, the top cap is red as you can see and it's still the magnetized case. I love this. I'm not raving about this because it's a new product from my brand but seriously um, this is amazing. I've already had this eyeshadow quad for so long. This is pretty much a better version of this one. So the design is a little different. It's uh, divided uh, vertically. The main difference is the color payoff. It is still smooth and buttery, but the color payoff is pretty bad. And the color combinations of the new ones are so much better. You feel like you could use all the four colors. The colors go together very well, and I feel like I could um, hit pan on this one. Um, this is the Ice to Kill Intense they used to have before. I will just open up the cap. If I take this one out, it is a pressed pigment. They are quite stunning, and I love these glittery, shimmery ones so much. I collected these and I have about 10 of these. But the downside of this product is that, as you can see, it is pretty messy. The fallout is just so messy, the pigment just falls onto your uh, cheeks as you uh, do your eye makeup. Smudges creates disaster, seriously. I know how to take care of these after a long time of use. So I don't really mind the messiness, but a lot of people have uh, complained and feedbacked about this problem. But this new thing, Ice to Kill Stella, is just amazing. Armani truly listens to his customers. Result of this is uh, exactly the same as the Ice to Kill Intense, but without any single fallout. He came out with this um, cream to powder formula, which pretty much solves the whole problem. I feel like this is what it should have been. So I have decided to use all of these new products to create uh, this makeup look because I truly recommend these. The reason why I chose a very bold burgundy red uh, lipstick to go with this eye makeup. Do you know that red is a complementary color of green? Have you ever wondered why the Christmas colors never go out of fashion? So the complementary colors. To find out the complementary colors, look at the color wheel or the color chart. Normally, if you do a um, smoky eyes or um, eye makeup uh, with fairly dark colors or unique colors like um, this one, you want to go with um, nude lips to finish off the makeup look with. I mean, that's fine, but using a complementary color is even better in my opinion. This particular red had to be a burgundy red not a true red or orangey red because the green I've used on my eyes is uh, dark and muted. 
when you're trying to use lots of different colors on your face it is better to match the characteristics of the colors to harmonize the whole makeup look and that way your makeup becomes more um, wearable enjoyed this video I wish I had some places to go out tonight but unfortunately um, this is after work and I feel super tired sadly that's not the case I hope you have gained some confidence to use um, other colors you know other than your usual color palette it's not so hard and complementary colors really do work please try out if you've liked watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And see you all soon in my next one.